Hello everyone, my name is Rotoro. Welcome back to Project Fire Sale, where we burn it to the ground, gut it, and try and get the worst team in MLS back into the playoffs. And as you can see, it has not worked. It has done the opposite of work right now. Sadly, New England have fired me, and honestly, I can't really blame them. Oh my goodness, it's just, it's going so horribly right now. Uh, 16 points. 20 or 20 points or yeah 16 points for 20 matches played not good enough dead last in the east still ahead of Seattle so I wouldn't be playing as them in year two but just could not get it done I needed six points in my final five matches I managed two with one to go so it was not going to be possible to hit that target you saw that match against TFC oh a draw there and I would still be playing against Montreal for my job because that would have been three from five with a win all I would need to get back into the good books and that last match would have seen all my reinforcements finally arrive they just couldn't arrive fast enough and sadly I am now out of a job so that's the club as it was Rotoro was uh, injured oh well Parra is now under a bid from whom from Columbus for nothing come on come on I leave and suddenly there's a fire sale of my people who I got off to the fire sale come on Anyway, point is, let's look at that final match. You're a nil-all draw against Montreal, which really, uh, I think we could have stood to win. Outshot them. Didn't have the possession, but one of those shots was a clear-cut chance that just couldn't be buried. Once again, Alessandro Matri just not showing up at all. Zeki Fryer's looking great, though. All along the back line, solid work. Brad Gazan, unfortunately, had to go and stand on his head. Not what I wanted to see, and my other attacking options just did not get it cut. So let's go ahead and look at those extended highlights, shall we? Things started off uh, a little bit worryingly. Control we'll get some early possession here. In fact, they would not amount to much as Ian O'Connell we had a decent game, as you saw. All the back then looked great. Varro showing up as well. We even start a counter here with Matri. Trying to get past Byrne, but couldn't do it. So bring us to Pittman, having the ball taken off by Caldwell. Friars. And Moose. Jason Moose getting another start. Continuing his development of nothing else. Before Matri puts it wide. See, Matri, you gotta stop doing that. At some point in this match, I believe it might have been the... Maybe at the half. I told him, there is Ian O'Connell's flick header stopped by Gazan. Let's take a look at that again, shall we? Oh my goodness, that flick header is so good. Row. So there's the ball from Alvaro. And a call point blank. Gazan gets... I guess Gazan doesn't say it, he's put it over the bar. But yeah, Ian O'Connell, that should have been my goal right there off a set piece. Didn't happen. Oh, that could have been my job right there. That, that likely was the header that cost me my job. Rowe taking free kicks today from his favored side. But I almost makes you wonder what would have happened if Fagundes was the one taking those instead. And I guess we'll never know now. Yeah, only one shot on target by the impact all game. Six off, six blocked, one off the woodwork. He's on there to save that one. So it's not like Montreal was ever really truly threatening defense, fully committed to shutting out the impact. We just could not find our way through either the defense or Gazan. Goodness knows we tried. I will say that at least we're getting some development here. If this team ends up next year just absolutely destroying all comers, you're welcome. I think what we'll do here is we will sim to the end of this year. Just as an epilogue and see uh, where everybody finished up. See who won MLS Cup and all that. For now, we'll just look through what is my final match with the Revolution. Second half. Was a little more threatening than the first. That chance from McConnell earlier was truly the best one that we had all evening. Lagundes tries to get it there. Caldwell. 
Nothing doing. Alvaro was a lot better this game. He's had some down games recently. This one was not one of them. I mean, he kept a clean sheet along with O'Connell, so he can't complain. Can't complain at all. I'm getting it done. Friars. Also, man of the match performance from Zeki Friars on the left. How long have we waited for that? Nguyen was just a dribbling machine all game. Did his job. Nobody else could do it as Matri there hits the post. That was as close as Matri would get. Connell put one over. Matri off the post. So it's not like we didn't have chances. Shuttleworth called into action only once, and that was it for that one shot on target. He looked good stopping it, too. The rest of it was just solid defensive work here by the Revs. By this point, I'd made my swaps. I'd, uh, after this play, Moose would come off, as would Matri. And uh, my two uh, young strikers, Juarez and Garcia, would come on. First row. Takes that. And it goes nowhere. Plenty of opportunities here. Just nobody really. Then Matri there finally gets his head to it. Just no good. Or the service was decent. So the finishing was abysmal. There's Garcia making his first a notable action by blocking that free kick from Laurent Simon. Clearing that. Yongo, cleared by Alvado. Just a really good defending. So at least we solved that problem far too late for me to keep my job. It's the offense that was never really truly fixed. Juarez does well to keep possession there. Banks that pass off the defender like he intended, I'm sure. Shuttle put that over everybody's head. Juarez to row. Crosses off Gazan and out. And pretty soon here, Rose is going to see the end of his day, and on will come Jordan Graham, which will see Graham on the left. Fagundes moves to the right, is an attempt to try and change the attack a little bit. Garcia tries an audacious shot from distance that fools absolutely nobody. Garcia, Juarez, great save by Gazan there. That was Juarez's best chance of the evening. Again, five shots on target. You can't complain with the results on the service and on the attempts. It's just the finishing. The finishing. Darren Max playing left wing for Montreal, which I find hilarious. Also, I don't know how Brad Gazan ended up playing goal for Montreal, but I'm sure they're very happy with that. Very nearly a disaster there with that free kick. Thankfully, cl clipped the bar, went over. At this one, I'm in full desperation mode. We're in overload, everybody's forward. I even pulled a Shuttleworth up from the back on this next corner. I'm so desperate for anything. We're in full overload, route one ball. Graham banks the cross out there. Here is where Shuttleworth comes up from the back. Ultimately didn't mean a heck of a lot. As he sees what's going on, he's like, oh, that's being cleared, and scampers away. Then Caldwell actually put one all the way through. Not helping anybody. Shane Williams with a long throw. Shuttle with claims. Boots it upfield in a hurry. But here's where it all fell down here. Not able to string anything together resembling a clean attack. And the Montreal defense does hold. As Bernadella went on a bit of a rampage in these last few minutes. Snuffing down anything and everything resembling an attack. As we pushed as high as we dared. Try and get something started. There was just no way through. So two pairs of very good defenses. As you can see, Bernardello just shutting down everything in this final flurry here for points. We tried. Oh goodness, we tried. 
That 68% passing completion really tells you the story, doesn't it? You can't reliably attack if you can't string two passes together. Our crossing was decent. But that was that. To a neutral, it would be like, hey, look at that defense. But to me, that was my job. So, next time on Project Fire Sale, we will sim to the end of the season. We'll see how New England does. They got some friendlies, including Stoke coming in now. They'll finish their season against Colorado away. Can they at least scare some results here? I mean, it's not out of the question. Go on a string of good results. Maybe sneak into sixth place. They've got reinforcements incoming. They are coming. Question is, uh, will it help? That'll be next time on Project Fire Sale. My name is Arturo. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell your friends about these videos on YouTube. And don't forget to join us in Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash Arturo's, where all these episodes are recorded live. Hope to see you there for the epilogue next time on Project Fire Sale. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.